Now, let's test it out and see how it tastes. If you've been watching my channel for the last few seasons, you've seen me cook steak a whole bunch of different ways. Over fire, underwater, in the oven, on the stove, and today we're gonna try something new by cooking it in this air fryer. My friends at I Say Omo, You Say Amo, I don't really know, sent me this air fryer. Look, it's not a paid post. They sent me the machine, they said, hey, if you like it, go ahead and use it in one of your videos. I've used it to make some really neat appetizers. I've done a whole rotisserie chicken in this thing and it turned out really good, but I have not tried to air fry a steak. So today, you're going to be following along as we try this together for the very first time. So what I've done is I've taken a big steak, a thick New York strip steak. This is a pretty easy machine to use. You just hit power and it comes with a couple different presets. It actually has a preset for steak. Gosh, I knew I would like it the moment I saw that. It's gonna show us to cook it for 25 minutes at 370 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a really quiet machine and the thing I like about it, very easy cleanup. So I got the steak salted for an hour. Now, do I put oil on it or do I not? I don't really know. When I was thinking about this, I really wanted to put this thing to the test by cooking the same kind of steak in this air fryer that I would attempt to cook on the grill. So I am going to uh, add oil because that's what I would do if I were throwing it in a pan or on the grill. And to me, to my mind, it seems like we're gonna need that extra virgin olive oil to help promote a nice Maillard reaction, to get that nice crust on the exterior. But who knows, my first time I could be wrong. Okay, now that we have it seasoned from here, it's actually pretty easy. Just open this up. This comes with a couple removable racks. Get this right on there, right in the middle. We're gonna sneak it back here towards the high end. Let's get it closed. Nice thing I like about this is it has the light, so you can keep an eye on it as it cooks. We're gonna be checking this here in about 15 minutes. See how the temperature is coming along with an instant read thermometer. I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and flip it and let it cook on the other side. I've noticed when I've tried chicken wings and other things in here, it really does need a flip to kind of evenly cook both sides. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab a beer, watch the game, but I'll be back soon. All right, peeps, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see how she's cooking. Okay, take a look at that. Not a lot of Maillard effect but uh, it looks very much like a broiled steak uh, from what I can see. That's cooking faster than I thought, about 102 degrees. So we're gonna flip it over and I'll do my next check-in in about five minutes. We don't wanna overcook it. 125 across. I'm gonna give it another two more minutes. I'd like to bring it up to about 130. That's my preferred temperature. Since my last check-in, I let it cook for an additional one minute. I pulled it out and I let it rest for five minutes and cut it up. This did reach an internal temperature of 130 degrees. As you can see, it's a very nice medium temperature, just the way I like my steaks. But it doesn't have that beautiful crust, that beautiful Maillard reaction that we've come to expect from the grill or in the cast iron skillet. It has all the hallmarks of what I would call a broiled steak. We've shown you in other videos how to increase the Maillard effect on broiled steaks, but that's exactly what this looks like. The color though is good. The timing was excellent. It took uh, 15 minutes end to end. I expected it to take much longer, frankly. I thought the 370 degrees Fahrenheit was a really odd temperature, but as you can see, we have some really nice color here. And that's just what we're looking for in every bite. So now let's test it out and see how it tastes. It's a good steak. Look, not everyone has access to a grill. If you're living in a big apartment community, uh, this could be an excellent option if you're just getting started cooking steaks. Look, if you wanna buy one of these for yourself, we've included a link in the description below. You can go check it out for yourself. This is my first time trying steak in this machine, but I have cooked some really crispy chicken wings, a full rotisserie chicken that turned out really amazing. It was one of the best chickens I've ever had. Not my favorite outcome on a steak, but hey, 
we got to try something new. Look, if you like our channel, you guys know the drill. Go ahead and hit that big thumbs up like button or even better, subscribe to our channel. We release a new video recipe every single week. Also, we're currently releasing a new program called Meet America. It's a podcast and travel cooking show. We are introducing you to experts from all over the industry and all over the country. We're visiting experts on location in their restaurant kitchens to help you guys turn up the tasty right at home. Check it out. Until then, I'm gonna have my beer and I'll see you guys next time.